हेलो एवरीवन आई एम प्रोफेसर शालनी सहाय असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन ईसी डिपार्टमेंट एस भोपाल टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द माइक्रोवेव कंपोनेंट्स एंड द मैचिंग टेक्निक्स द ऑपरेशन ऑफ एन एंटीना सिस्टम ओवर अ फ्रीक्वेंसी रेंज इज नॉट कंप्लीटली डिपेंडेंट अपॉन द फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स of the antenna element itself but rather on the frequency characteristics of the transmission line and antenna element combination in practice the characteristic impedance of the transmission line is usually real whereas that of the antenna element is complex so the main importance of this transmission line with antenna element is that the impedance matching is must so transmission line impedance is real and we have to match with the impedance of the antenna which is in complex in nature also there will be the variation of the frequency between these two elements thus efficient coupling matching network must be designed which attempts to couple match the characteristics of the two devices over the desired frequency range so matching technique is must as we have to match the different load nature of the elements and with the different frequencies of these two elements for this now we'll discuss the first uh, matching technique that is known as the stub matching ideal matching at a given frequency can be accomplished by placing a short or open circuited shunt a distance s from the transmission line antenna element connection so a transmission line whose length is l is connected in shunt with the regular transmission line so this shunt connection of transmission line at a particular distance which is known as the stub assuming that a real characteristic impedance the length is controlled so to make the real part of the antenna element equal impedance equal to the characteristic impedance of the transmission line so if we want to match the antenna with the transmission line so we have to match the load for this load matching we will connect a shunt line whose uh, points represent the matching of the uh, impedances of the antenna with the transmission line the length l of the shunt line is varied until the succipitance uh, of the stub is equal in magnitude but opposite in phase to the line input succipitance at the point of transmission line that is the shunt element connection so this succipitance of the stub should be equal to the magnitude but it is opposite in phase now the short circuit stub is more practical because an equivalent short can be created by a pin connection in a coaxial cable in a waveguide this preserves the overall length of the stub line for matching which may require longer length stubs a single stub with a variable length cannot always match with the antenna's load impedances so a double stub matching arrangement is position a fixed distance from the load with the length of the each stub variable and separated by a constant length l will match match a greater range of antenna impedances so sometimes a single stub does not work so we have to make a multiple connection of the stub at different points on the transmission line so as to match the impedances between the transmission line and the antenna sometime one stub is keep fi fixed and the second one is changed or it is an variable whose position can be changed with respect to the first one the length of the l of the shunt is varied until the succipitance of the stub is equal in magnitude but opposite in phase so sometimes it is always kept varying or as per the requirement sometimes we'll require double or triple stub matchings now these are the quarter wavelength transform which can be designed 
So if the length of the transmission line is considered to be as lambda by four, so it's uh, known as the quarter wavelength transformer, and it is defined on the variable uh, section like single section, multiple sections, binomial designs, Chebyshev design. Now, uh, if we see the single section design and other techniques that can be used to match the antenna to the transmission line is to use a lambda by four transformer. If the impedance of the antenna is real, then the transformer uh, is attached directly to the load. So uh, here we have used as the transmission line as a transformer by keeping its length lambda by four. So if the impedance of the antenna is kept real, then transformer is attached directly to the load. However, if the antenna impedance is complex, then the transformer is placed at a distance away from the antenna. So this is the distance which we have to keep the antenna impedance, antenna kept at a distance away. So this, the transformer is placed at a distance S is not away from the antenna. And this distance S0 is so chosen that the input impedance towards the load it is real and it is de uh, designated as R in. So uh, the main purpose is first to make the impedance in real term. To provide a match, the transformer characteristics impedance Z1 should be, it is uh, the product under root square of R in into Z0, where Z0 is the characteristic impedance, which is kept as real of the input transmission line. The transformer is usually another transmission line and with the desired characteristic impedance. Now, because the characteristic impedance of most of the uh, transmission lines are limited in range and values. So the quarter wave line uh, length transformer technique is most suitable when used with microstrip transmission line. The, in microstrip, what we uh, take the characteristic impedance is generally uh, changed by simply varying the width of the center conductor. Now, if we uh, take the multiple sections where the matching that are less sensitive to frequency variations and that provide broader bandwidth, which require multiple section of single sections. So in multiple section, we take number of a uh, single section uh, with the length of lambda by four. In fact, the number and the characteristic impedance of each section can be designed so that the reflection coefficient follows within the desired frequency bandwidth. Prescribed variations which are symmetrical about the center frequency. So if we take the number of uh, number, if no, correct, simple sections, then what we have to consider is the that the reflection uh, coefficient should uh, follow within the bandwidth. So the, all things should be men, uh, done within the desired frequency bandwidth. The antenna load impedance will again be assumed to be real. If it is not, then antenna element must be connected to the transformer at a point S is not along the transmission line and where the input impedance is real. In general, the multiple section, either binomial or Chebyshev, provides greater bandwidths than a single section. As the number of section increases, the bandwidth also increases. Now, if we take the number of sections, then the bandwidth is also increased. Now, the advantage of the binomial design is that the reflection coefficient values within the bandwidth monotically, it decreases from both ends towards the center, and thus the values are always smaller than acceptable design value. So if the main advantage of his uh, binomial design is that the bandwidth is uh, coincide to the center, and thus the values are always smaller than an acceptable and designed value. Now for the Chebyshev design, the reflection coefficient values within the design bandwidth are equal or smaller than 
the acceptable and design values. So these are the consideration which we must consider while uh, connecting the single section, multiple section, either binomial or Chebyshev. So the main point is that the reflection coefficient should be taken in the desirable bandwidth. The number of times the reflection coefficient reaches the maximum ripple value within the bandwidth is determined by the number of sections. In fact, for an even number of sections, the reflection coefficient at the design center frequency is equal to its maximum allowable value, while for an odd number of the section, it is zero. So the even when we take the number of section even, then we take the uh, value of the desired center frequency to the maximum value. If we take the number of sections in odd term, then it is considered as zero. For a maximum tolerable reflection coefficient, the end section Chebyshev transformer provides a larger bandwidth than a corresponding end section design. For a given bandwidth, the maximum tolerable reflection coefficient is smaller for Chebyshev design. So these are the different matching techniques which we have to consider the different ranges of the center frequency. We have to consider the different tolerable reflection coefficient so that the section can transfer the information for a larger bandwidth and for the acceptable bandwidth. Thank you.